All right, so first of all, I plugged it in and it blew the circuit. So all the power went out in this room. Then reset the circuit, tried it again, blew the circuit. So that's the first part. And then when I took the top off, I noticed that there's tape on top of all of this, on every single one of these. There's just tape on there. Also, there's only three of the four original screws that holds the top on. So I've got them, I got them cleaned in a little bath here. We have tape on here because some of these pieces of plastic like this right here, it's not here. So I'm not sure if all of them are broken or just that one. This one is, this one doesn't have it right here. It's got up there, but not here. Oh, same with this side, this side's broken. This one seems to be good still. Also, originally, this top piece right here had a metal ring. And this piece of metal was bent all around in there to fashion a, a, a ring. It looks like the original one's gone and they replaced it with something they just bent together to hold. Also, this is not the original cord. The original cord was short with a connector uh, piece right here. Um, so it was easy to take in and out to clean and fix and stuff. Instead of it being this absolutely massive three-prong plug. Okay, so in taking off the bottom panel, uh, you notice that every single side is broken. This one's completely broken off. And uh, I found this piece floating inside here. This is the light bulb. Uh, and also, uh, the, the top did have, uh, the bottom, yeah, the top piece did have all four original screws. Um, but again, opening it, every single bracket to close the globe is broken. This piece was also floating around on the inside of the bottom of this as well. Not sure if that came from in this or if it was like an old hook uh, used to hold it up. Also, these are the mounting screws which mount the, uh, the motor and everything to the bottom plate. There was only three of those, of these screws. One of them was missing. This is also not the original ballast. This is a newer one. Same with the light bulb. The light bulb was not original. It's newer as well. Um, the old ballast was long and dark. It was, it was a little bit longer than this. Uh, but this is, I don't know what year it was, but this one's not the original ballast. There's also um, these clips that hold the light bulb. There's one that's not here. I have three, but I do not have the fourth. Also, this piece doesn't look like it. There's a washer here. It doesn't look like this originally 
was how it was. And also the threading right here in this part is kind of stripped away a little bit. Also the, the bracket that goes the top through here on top of this, this bracket uh, did not have either of the original screws, had some old, um, some newer ones, uh, both different sizes of screws. And all the detail on the inside looks pretty good. Looks like this dog broke his back foot. Same with this guy, his back foot shouldn't, is going an unusual way. That's how it's supposed to be, but this guy, he broke it, so he's not having that much fun. Uh, also, the uh, horses look great. The Clydesdales. All the parts are there. The two uh, undertakers, the mortuary pale blank faced dead guys they're there their blue eyes all the little details like the the lamp right there you got the, the fire buckets or the feed buckets or whatever those buckets are for the drunk people throwing up and this just says St. Louis so this is the second run of this uh the original one had multiple names of cities on it. This one's just St. Louis, so that means it's the second run. Um, I did notice that on these buckets, these logos are taped to it. I don't know if that's original or if that was done later on somebody maybe printed them out and put them on there i have no idea but they're both they're both that way all of the underside here these are all the screws that hold all the characters and stuff on uh, it's all pretty clean there's some fingerprints on the inside of this but it's all pretty clean and white but then when we get to this part that's just that's uh, that's a dirty butthole right there. That is a dirty butthole. Uh, but I'll clean that up. And now on this, uh, the mechanics of it all, it's like we're missing some mounting screws or they've re-put them in because of this different ballast. So everything's kind of bent and torn up. Each side only has one mounting screw. Uh, both sides are missing one. And whoever, uh, I just took these wires off, but whoever rewired this did an absolute terrible job soldering the, the ground line here. It's just barely hanging on. It's like one. Um, and these weren't, these wires weren't soldered at all. They'd put some of these on there to connect them together. Um, and this isn't cracked or broken, which is good. What uh, power goes into there? You get the motor right here. Actually, I did notice there is a little crack Right there. You can, see it. you can see it kind of better from right here. That little crack in the plastic there. It's not too bad. It doesn't go all the way through. Um, besides that, that's the only crack in this piece. So it looks like this was maintenanced in 1992. Um, this is on the, uh, the bottom part of this underneath. I changed the light bulb to a new uh, amber-toned 
bulb. The engine seem I mean, the motor seems to keep stopping a little bit, which makes me think the gears inside the motor are faulty. So I figured out that, well, first of all, I changed the light to a, a more amber light, but I figured out why it stops, and it's because there is some wiring. You'll see right here around this corner. This wiring stuck out so much that it was touching the side of the box here and stopping the motor. So I'm going to fix that a little bit more. Uh... I moved it out of the way, and this thing has not stopped spinning yet. So I think that was the whole issue of why the motor why the motor was stopping was this cable rubbing against the box there and getting caught and stopping the motor because uh, it just keeps going around and around uh, since I've moved this this little bundle out of the way a little bit but I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna make that a little bit more compact so it doesn't stick out of there like it is so that it's more like this section which you can see from the side is just is not even clearing uh, the slip case at all right here so yeah, I'm gonna fix that part that was the issue uh, which is great that is not the motor it was just something getting caught up the motor is now working great. Uh, I changed the bulb to a warmer, more yellow one. I cleaned the daylights out of all the insides. Cleaned and greased the ball bearings, greased the drive shaft to the motor and a few other areas with the frictionless high temperature handling grease. Uh, some of the insides were broken, like the little plastic areas that screw the lid and the bottom lid on. Uh, I fixed those. Um, I rewired the connection from the plug cord to the motor with some better wire and made it smaller and more compact. I added the screws where they were missing and I buffed out as many of the scratches as I could. I couldn't get all the deep ones. Um, but I used a microfiber cloth and some polishing compound to get most of those blemishes out. And then I did a uh, cleaning solution, a UV protection coat on the globe as well. But everything's working great and it looks good.